Hello guys and welcome back to my pattern. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are having a great day so far because in today's video, we're going to be talking about Hytale and its biomes. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming uploads. Without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and dive straight into it. Emerald Grove, name not finalized, also referred to as Zone 1, is a starting zone in Hytale. This region consists of lush green plains, forests, lakes, snowy mountains, and swamps. Under its surface are networks of sprawling caves and hot magma deep underground. It is home to the Quebecs and the Trorics, among other species. The Howling Sands, name not finalized, also referred to as Zone 2, is one of the six zones in Orbis. It consists of sand dunes, rocky canyons, savannas, and other desert terrain. Under the surface lie sandstone caves with hot magma and precious rewards. The Howling Sands are home to NPCs like the adorable Ferens and frightening Scarax. This zone is also home to the soundtrack's Guy's Lament, Night on the Dunes, Canyon of Many Suns, and Ancient Tombs. Borea, name not finalized, also referred to as Zone 3, is the coldest zone of Orbis. It's a land of snowy landscapes, mountains, tall spruce forests, and frozen caves. Outlander villages also spawn in Borea. This zone could have some connection to the element water. The name Borea is derived from the term Aurora Borealis, which is a Latin term for the Northern Lights, a colorful light display which occurs only in Arctic regions. The oasis is so far the only known source of water found throughout Zone 2. It has a wide variety of flora and fauna. This can provide a skillful player with an opportunity to harvest materials that may not be easy to find elsewhere. However, players should be warned as some predatory mobs might be found hunting within the oasis. Farins can also be found walking through it, however, not much is known about this. The Devastated Lands, name not finalized, also referred to as Zone 4, is one of the six zones of Orbis. It's volcanic, consisting of ash-filled skies and magma-covered mountains filled with creatures of lava, bones, and ash. Surprisingly, underneath the volcanic landscape is a lush underground jungle filled with strange and dangerous creatures. The tropical jungle is a subterranean biome located under the volcanic landscape of the Devastated Lands, Zone 4. It is filled with a wide range of plants and animals. This biome is a cave system that consists of four distinct levels stacked on top of each other. Each level has an environment that's somewhat different from the level above it and or below it. The first level, referred to as Devastated Caves, is just below the surface of Zone 4 and offers an environment that's a transition between the wasteland above and the dense jungles below. Fiery caves gradually give way to this erratic vegetation and water features found in the level below. The second level of caves contains sparse vegetation, a few water features, and possibly some NPC outposts. As players descend, the vegetation thickens, transitioning into the denser jungle below. The third level of caves mostly resembles a flourishing real-life jungle with large trees, plants, and rainforest animals. Slothian villages can be found in this level as well. The fourth level is the forgotten jungle in the deepest, wildest, wettest, and most dangerous part of the tropical jungle biome. It is home to hostile dinosaurs and lakes. This level may be darker than the upper levels as some of its inhabitants have bioluminescent properties. The Autumn Forest is a biome that can be found within Zone 1. Autumn forests resemble regular Zone 1 forests, but in fall or autumn, you can find great amounts of mushrooms and pumpkins in this biome, as well as glowing flora. In conclusion guys, this is all we know so far about biomes in Hytale. I hope we'll get more updates in the future, as it all seems really promising, and I'm sure that we'll get some new updates soon. At least I hope so, and I hope when the game is done, it's going to be just as good as it looks in the trailers. But that's all the time we have for you guys today, so thank you all for watching. If you all have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below and I'd love to help you out. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more content like this and much more. We'll see you guys next time, but until then, goodbye!